I hate spicy food. At Nando's, I order lemon and herb. The only curry I'd ever eat is a korma. I just don't do spice. What's the point in it? I don't get it. I want to eat food that doesn't make me want to slice my own tongue off. Having said that, today I'm going to be eating ever-increasing spicy foods to see if I'm missing out on anything. <coughs> Wish my rectum luck, if that's the thing. I don't know if that's the... It's not a thing. It's not, no one's ever said that. Anyway, on to the first one. Korma. But now in theory I should be able to handle this. It's only got one chilli on rating on it. But I've never actually tried Sainsbury's chicken korma before. So who knows? Maybe I can't even handle the first one. Let's see. It's going to be a short video if I can. I've got it. Doesn't it look appetising? Ignore the Christmas tree. It's Christmas somewhere. Probably. I don't, I don't know how it works. Appetising is that, isn't it? Look. So it's arse kicks in. So in theory, I should be fine eating this. A mildly spicy curry with marinated chicken breast in a coconut and cashew nut case. Not nut case, nut sauce. I'm the nut case. Why did I say nut case? Can I not read? Anyway, here it goes. It's going right up the nasal passages. Nothing like ultra processed food to start your day. That isn't even spicy in the slightest. I can't taste the spice on that at all. The temperature's just hot. I wouldn't even say that's one chilli. I can't taste any spice in that. Chicken's a bit chewy. Does it say where the chicken's from? I want my chicken British! I'm not really that arsed where my chicken's from, to be honest with you. I don't want its home address. Okay, so the first one, I wouldn't even say there's any spice in that. I can't taste anything. So absolutely fine with this one. Let's move on to the next one. Mackerel fillets in spicy tomato sauce. Sounds horrible, yes, I agree. Let's see what it looks like in it. That is very unusual looking. It's just in like a bath of tomato sauce. It's almost like some sort of comic relief challenge for the mackerel. Just go and sit in a bathtub full of tomato ketchup or something. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give you a fiver. Okay, this is supposed to be again, one chili. Don't mind blowing on it, it's not warm. Oh god, oh, poor. oh I don't like that. Who's put that together? Why? Oh, there's some spice in this one. It's only mild, it's, the spice isn't the issue, it's the taste I've got a problem with. There's a little bit of spice just here. That is rank. What nutter has come up with that mackerel in tomato ketchup? It's mental as you think. Imagine a tin of tuna and then put some tomato pasta sauce on top of it. That's what that is. How are they still selling that? Someone's buying it. I want to know, I want names. You must be Norwegian or something. That's, that's all this could appeal to. Norwegian people who barely see daylight, who are sort of losing the plot. They live in the Arctic or wherever Norwegian people live. Probably not the Arctic, that's probably for people who live in the Arctic. But what I'm saying is, who is eating that? I'm not finishing that, no chance. Oh, you're wasting food, people are starving in the world. They wouldn't eat that. Honestly, if somebody was starving to death, you gave them that, they'd go, oh, Jesus, not even that, been that. Even they wouldn't eat it. That's probably an exaggeration, but still, on to the next one. Okay, staying on the one chili rating, up next we have got ourselves a ginger shot. Now, a lot of people are like, well, it's not technically spicy, but ginger is sort of, it's in that remit. And this might be the spiciest thing that we've done so far. It might come as a surprise, I'm not big into ginger. Sort of ironic? No, it's not, because I'm sure a blonde, but whatever, but whatever. Ginger immunity. That sounds like you're wanting immunity from gingers. Let's have some. I think you're supposed to shake it. Oh, God. It's like when your mum puts out like a decorative plate of like Christmassy stuff, like a cinnamon stick. I don't even know what it is. Some like dried stuff in like a bowl or something. Like, well, it smells like that. And I'm about to down it. I did. <coughs> My eyes are watering. Jesus. Definitely hits the back of the throat. A little bit of a kick to it. Not actually as spicy as I was thinking, but it does hit the roof of the throat and a little bit at the back of the throat. There is a kick to it. I'd say that is taking things up a little bit from the mackerel. I don't think most of it touched my mouth. I think it just went straight down the hole, nearly choked on it. How was that meant to be good for you? I nearly died. <coughs> yep, still on the one chilli there. On to the next one. Thai sweet chilli crisps. I never had these before. I'm not a big crisp fan. I've retired from crisps. I'm coming out of retirement just for this. Let's see how spicy this really is. There's a tingle. Oh, it's on the tongue. Oh, oh, and now I understand why they're called sensations. You do get like a tingle sensation. They're actually all right. You get stuck in your teeth, bit annoying. Got stuff on my fingers. Yeah, okay, there's a little bit of a tingle. It is a slight upgrade actually from the ginger, but so far it's manageable. I'll get over it. It is a bit like I've got something on my tongue, you know, like tickling me with a feather or something. It's, it's provoking feelings within me. Are they good feelings? I'm not sure. I don't know, to be honest with you. I think we should step things up a notch now. Let's go to two chilies and start with the tikka masala of the chicken variety. Chicken tikka masala. Oh, oh, that 
that's all. Oh god, I can smell the spice in this air. Never had one of these before. This one again is just sort of chicken. This one smells spicy, you can really feel that the smell coming off it, the aromas really coming through. Let's try it with the rice. Here we go for our first two chili rated food. Chicken tikka masala. Oh god. Here we go. Okay. Is there any afterburn? I've survived. I can eat chicken tikka masala. This is an incredible discovery. It's fine. If anything, I'd say the crisps are probably a little bit spicier than this. I'm surprised this is two chili ratings. This does not feel that spicy at all. Amazing. On to the next one. Right up next, we're going to go for the red chilies. Given a two out of six rating. So in theory, shouldn't be too bad. I mean, you'd obviously never eat a chili like this. You'd put it in something, wouldn't you? I also don't like the way it wiggles. It's quite a wiggly foodage. It's sort of like the food of, of maniacs. The original fidget spinner. Right, here goes. It's like a carrot, basically. Ah, oh, I think it might be okay. Getting warmer. <coughs> oh, no, it's not. <coughs> it's not okay. <coughs> Apparently it's supposed to be good for it. Oh my God. <coughs> that is not okay. I think I have to give birth. By the mouth. Yeah, that's spicy, that one. I don't get why they call it a chilli. It's anything but. How is that two out of six? There's residue around the around the mouth. Honestly, what's my stomach gonna be thinking with all that swelling round in it? Curries, little ginger shot, chili. Oh, some orange juice. Mental down there. It's still there. It's back for round two. How is it still burning? I've swallowed it. Just go away. Right, on to the next one. Nando's Peri Peri Sauce. Medium. Never tried this one before. Like I say, I'm more of a sort of lemon and herb guy, as you can probably tell. Rather than make some food specifically for this, I'm just gonna put it on the curry. So we've gone from a curry that's not particularly spicy to putting some Peri Peri Sauce can you do that? Can you put peri peri sauce on a curry? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't really care. I'm not expecting it to taste great. Oh, that's not messing about, is it? Let's pop some on it. Let's put a little bit in here, okay? Just so we can get a good taste of it. We're gonna go too mental here. Now let's see what this is like. For good measure, we'll pop a little bit more on my fork. Medium sauce, there it goes. That's a mistake. Oh my God. <laughs> How was that medium? Oh, I've got hiccups. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my days. That shouldn't be legal. How was that medium? Oh, how's, how does it give you hiccups? How does it give you hiccups as well? I don't like having milk by itself, so I got myself a milkshake instead. That's calmed it down quite nicely. Apparently, you're not supposed to use. You're not supposed to use water because it, all it does is actually swell it around the mouth. And that's the spiciest we've had so far. Whew. That one was not messing about. Just, I'm still getting the burning sensation on the tongue, around the mouth. You feel sorry for the toilet tonight, don't you? I'm gonna get Nando's for false appetising. That's not medium. Who calls that medium? We've got different taste palettes going on here. Get rid, there's no need to have anything that hot on your food. Just get rid of that. Just do mild. Right up next. Chicken gel frazy. I mean, it's just chicken with a bit of onion, tomato, and green pepper sauce. How bad can it be? Is it normal, by the way, that I've got a headache now? I've actually got a headache from eating spicy food. I don't know if that's a thing, but I've got one. I've noticed the sources of the curries are getting darker and darker. Again, a warning, a darker red. Don't eat me, please. Right, three chilies. And let's dig in, let's see what we've got. Some chicken, a bit of sauce. Here we go. I think we're all right. I mean, look, there's a bit of spice to that. But as always on this channel, I'm not going to exaggerate. I'm not going to pretend something's expi really spicy when it's not. There's a little bit of a kick to it. It's not that spicy. I've actually gone downwards off the back of that. I can't believe they've given that three chilies. The Nando sauce is hotter. The red chilies were hotter. It's actually quite a nice uh, heat, this one. I'll still stick to me coldness, don't get me wrong, but... This one's bearable. It's fine. Definitely not three chilies worth. Up next, bird's eye chilies. I didn't realise they'd started doing chilies now, bird's eye, but they have apparently. They're smaller, so naturally they're going to be more spicy. Three out of six on the heat scale. Gives a fiery bite to Thai curries and soup. Who who actively wants a fiery bite? I've never I've never thought. Ooh. I could do a bit more fire in this food. No, we no tourists fire fire's a bad thing. Nobody's looked at a fire, a bonfire, and gone, I wanna swallow that. No one's ever thought that. And yet with food, people go, oh yeah, more spicy. No, get lost with your spice. I wanna be able to eat it. Oh god, my nose is starting to run. This is one above a jalapeno. Doesn't that just look evil? as a food. Even if I didn't know what a chili was, I still wouldn't eat that if I was out and about. If I was knocking about in the jungle as a caveman or whatever, 
You'd probably be in a cave, wouldn't you? If I was knocking about a cave and I saw one of these and I'm in a cave, I don't know how you get chilies in a cave, just go with it. If I was a caveman knocking about in a cave and I saw one of these, I'd go, I'm not having that. A raspberry, a strawberry, welcoming, welcoming foods, rounded, lovable. Oh, that looks like a monster we eaten. This is basically sticking you up the middle finger, isn't it? It's saying, do not touch me. I will harm you. Up to three chilies now. Here goes. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. Oh, that's a mistake. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> oh, that's a mistake. I scream. Oh, oh God. Oh. Mm. That's too gold now. Yes, I'm forking ice cream. Leave me alone. I only had a little bit of that as well. Oh, that is... Like, when are you ever going to use that? Unless you're trying to kill somebody. When? That should be age restricted. I'm so dead. I don't understand. Never having one of them again. Never again. Just stupid. Of all the foods out there, we choose to produce this. Who's putting that in the field? Get rid of it. Put some bananas in there. Forget about these. Nobody needs them. Pointless. Right, okay, now on to the final food. The spiciest one of the lot. The chicken vindaloo. It's actually got five out of five on the old chili rating, which is the highest that they do. I mean, doesn't that look appetizing, eh? God, here it is. Jesus, look at the state of that. Doesn't look like it should be eaten, really, does it? Oh, God. Here we go. Still got hiccups, even though I took a break. Oh, God, that looks awful. There's not even any rice. I've just realised. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a toxic swamp, really, does this. It should not be for public consumption. Just like a red pit. It's like a, a bloodbath or something like someone's just been murdered in there in a horror film. It's swampy, it's sort of redy brown, it's it's not something you want to put inside you really. Okay, yeah there's some spice some spice going through. I'm definitely gonna regret this. Okay. Get a bit of rice on your fork. Get a bit of chicken. It's a vindaloo at the end of the day. People eat these, okay? So it's not like I'm doing something that's that meant that mental. It's perfectly normal in some cultures. Not in mine. <sighs> Here goes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my days. My eyes are sweating, my nose is running. Oh God, who's having that? What are you playing around at? What, some people enjoy that? That's not food, that's, that's like a nuclear weapon for the mouse. Who's having that? <coughs> oh my God, I'm getting sweaty. And my headaches, oh my headaches coming back. I only had one piece of chicken. Oh, I think we got it under control. That milkshake, it's like, I'd say now that works a treat. Whenever you go to a curry house and I order a corn and everyone goes, oh, come on, mate. you're missing out, I'm not. I'm not missing out. I shut up and get a Ben and Jerry's down you. Who's having that? 